This is probably not what you think it's going to be. But, see, something that horses have taught me is to pay attention to patterns. And I've gotten so accustomed to paying attention to patterns that I started paying attention to the human's patterns as well. Now that gets really scary. But being a horse trainer is a lot like being a tractor mechanic or motorcycle mechanic. See, this tractor here, you, you, you can only get on it from one side up here. But when you use this tractor, you don't come in here and, and grease this side of the bucket and then go get on the tractor and drive it around and then find out that the pins are all wore out, broke on that side later on or rusted together because you never lubricate them. A horse is no different. So if you always approach your horse on the right hand side or left hand, left hand side of the horse and you do that all the time and then you put them, put them in cross ties uh, because the horse can't move, he's, you can't really tell what's going on and what he's telling you. So. It, it's not that you have to train the horse loose, but at least check him when he's loose. You'll see, because I do a lot of hoof care, a lot of horses will have right hind hoof issues. Crookedness or, you know, di di different, all different sorts of problems. And it's a lot of times it's on the right hand side, in the hind. Or they got leg issues, back problems. You got chiropractors in there. But you go in there and the horse is tense on that side. It, getting rid of that tension is easy. So you go in there and you get rid of that tension. And if the horse will allow you to be on his right hand side, that's fine. That's what you want. So you bring him to the mechanic. I fix it so that I, you can go in. This horse, you couldn't go in on his right hand side when he was loose. So, you know, he's, he's lubricated. He's not totally fixed but by constant maintenance and going and checking just like you would your tractor you got to go on the other side of this tractor to check the oil well you go on the other side and see how everything works on this side you know and, and that he's okay with you being on that side so if you get your tractor back and you only grease this side of it you're gonna have the same problem you, you got to be able to go all the way around the horse and help him get over these tightness issues. This guy, was, you know, I saw a lot of different things and how to move his... <clears throat> move his hindquarters this way, come backwards. And you'll see that, yeah, he's still a little bit tight back here, but by lubricating it every once in a while make sure it's working so when the owner gets this horse back this is a, i want her to do a lot of these things just because you get on the, the left hand side most of the time i've gotten to the point where because i gotta fix this so many times you know how many horses are have problems that you can't walk in on this side of them so i i mount a lot of these horses from the right hand side and yeah when i first started doing it it feels weird to put your right foot up in the stirrup and try to get on from the right hand side you have to kind of readjust your body because you're so trained mentally to get on the horse from the, the left hand side so it's it'll, it'll do your horse good it'll do you good i get off on the right hand side a lot i get on on the right i saddle from this side i saddle from that side make sure all these things work <laughs> see so i i've actually Lubricated his, lubricated his right hand side so much that his left, his left side is a, a bit more. A bit more tight, and that's why when I teach him on the mounting block, bring your hind quarters over here. So if I want to get on from the left, or bring your hind quarters over here if I want to get on from the right. I make them go back around this way. Side pass over to me this way, side pass over to me this way. And get it so that they're soft on this side. 